Hey guys, we're going to here today. We're going to be playing some more Farming Simulator 2019 here on the server. This is the Seneca County map, and we're going to be running some lime today. So, we're actually got one field of lime. We didn't really lime it. We kind of waited, but as you can see, it needs lime. It is germinated, so I believe if it's germinated, you can spread lime. But I feel like if it, it has to be growing to actually spread lime, and this is the only field that is not at the second stage. Which, what is that? That's soybeans, I believe. Yep. So, we're going to just test it out today. We got the pickup at the shop. And we're going to be buying a tender. And a floater. So, we're going to be running this floater. I know you have... I don't think you guys have really seen this floater much. We're going to be using it. We're going to run... Which one should we run? Michelins are wider. Run the Michelins. Boom collisions. Uh, let's go... No. Yeah, well, sure. Just because it's cheaper. Um, that's just the credits. We go, 5-9. And Expendables modding. GPS, sure. $271,000. That's a good chunk of money. Okay, so now we will buy the Delta trailer. That is... Where's that at? Is that under Argo Wagons or is it under... I think it's under Miscellaneous. Let's find... One more. There we go. And it's right there. So this holds 40000 of lime. We probably won't fill it full. Or we might... Because how much does this hold? 28,000. So we're going to pull that with the Duramax home. And then when we trade all this stuff back off, which we will sell it later on, we'll run that. And somebody keeps buying tow hooks that shouldn't buy tow hooks. We're going to buy tow hooks. We need to sell them. Unless we're actually using them on the trucks. Oh well hook that on and take off so we'll take this to the farm and then we'll come back and grab the floater and run that so we went ahead and got this trailer full and the pickups having a hard time pulling it it does not like the hills and the full load of lime which it's quite a little tons it's a little overkill 40,000 liters would be I don't know if it is actually 52 tons. I feel like that's not right, but I don't know. But anyway, we got 52 tons of lime. We're going to take this to the farm, park it at the end of the field down here, and then we'll jump back, grab the floater, we're going to call it. It's actually a uh, air machine. I'm trying to think what they actually call it. Alright, so it looks like our corn came up really nice. That's good. Happy about that. It's growing. And we're going to park this about right there because it got stuck. And we're going to jump back. I already started driving it back a little bit. It's the Titan. So, I didn't think this was the Titan. I thought the four-wheeled one was the Titan. But maybe it is. I don't know. Yeah, it's the air machine. So, we'll take this back and start running it we're gonna go ahead and unfold it might as well set up gps while we are waiting 60 foot there we go and let's hope this works so basically just drive forward turn it on and run it like that and it just blasts it on So, one thing about it is, I don't know if these actually spread lime or not, but I do know they spread fertilizer, because they run, these are like on custom crews and stuff around here, custom applicators, stuff like that. I don't know if these can actually run lime, but yeah, it's basically based on air, so it pumps it into there, 
and then the air blows through these pipes and blasts it out and if it's damp out it'll clog up your pipes and it's very fun to clean out as you can imagine but yeah the reason it's leaving that little underneath is because well there's nothing underneath so it blows it out the back it actually works pretty nice I actually like the detail on it because I'm surprised they actually took the time to actually script it so it actually blasts out back there instead of up front I figured it when I kicked it on it just go all the way across and it would go underneath too because we still have the animation on the back but nope they didn't do that which is good I like when modders take the time to detail stuff like that out but yeah we're gonna need quite a little lime and I don't believe 103 needs it so that's good so anyway we're gonna go ahead and lime this field up I guess we'll see what uh, how the case performs looks like so far it's performing really good I'm impressed with it 16 mile an hour I don't know how fast it's supposed to go but it's running about 16 so that's good so looks like to me we're gonna use about 50 percent each round we run because right now we're at 50 so we'll end up like right here on the next time and apparently there's like no brakes on this thing but I suppose there's a uh, limes heavy and I suppose it doesn't really have much of a brake force to start with so anyway yeah I don't know that pickup I don't know if this tender will actually work I hope it'll work because I put like 10 grand into that uh, spreader we really didn't need it but I thought I'd just buy it just to show it off because I really haven't used it like at all and that's kind of what this map is about and this server is going to be about we're just going to be doing new things different things trying different things like normally right now I'd have a full state of fertilizer um, the weeds killed the lime would be on and the plowed that would all be done just because I do all that before I plant rather than after um yeah so now we're doing it after but we'll get this plowed up so these are the videos coming up I don't know what order they'll be in but we got plowing we gotta plow this field we're going to cultivate the corn with that uh, cultivator that Chase gave me this thing we'll be using this in the next couple videos so stay tuned for that really nice mod haven't even tried it yet but it's gotta be a good mod right be using that in the corn and then we'll also be using the side dress applications in the corn and in hydrus probably on the soybeans probably on the wheat or this thing this field maybe we'll use it on that field instead but I don't know we'll just have to see and you guys will have to watch and see and stay tuned to what we do next and how it all works you can see there's like a strip right there that's where I filled the planter with fertilizer yeah we messed that up I ran out of seed right here and I went and just filled it quick and came back and yeah it messed it up but oh well anyway we also got our sugar beets planted down here I don't know if they'll grow or not or what's gonna happen with them but they are planted fully fertilized they do need cultivated we might actually go down there today and cultivate them I don't know we'll see probably just leave it alone because really the weeds I found out the weed state when you come across weeds it like deletes them it like docks your yield when you come up to the weeds so really that little chunk of weed is really nothing so I don't know okay so there we are let's go ahead and fill looks like we can do about four two rounds four passes Let's see, these booms should have collisions on them. Yep, they do. Sweet. So back up, one fold the tarp deal. And I don't think you can actually move the wings, which sucks. But Yeah, so you just have to hit R. Which it's good, because then, like this, you can get that uh, tender to where it just drops in there. You don't have to hit R. But with this one, you have to hit R, which... I like both. I like you have to hit R or you can have the option of gravity is what I call it. Gravity filling. It's not really gravity. It's like power filling. 
but that's just how it that's just how it is I guess but no the ones with when you hit R is the ones without like the collision because there's supposed to be like a trigger on top of the bin so that when you back under an auger like this it's supposed to trigger that it's there and then it dumps it there automatically but when you don't have that trigger those tenders do not work so it's nice to have the tenders like this one where you have to hit R to fill and whatnot. So that's really nice. I like that about that tender. And most of the tenders we have in the game. I really haven't tried them all. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and finish this field out. We only got about to there. We should have about another load in there. We'll come out really close actually because we're about half done. So Alright, so we ran out of lime right about there. And we got about a pass here and then I think we're gonna be really close we're gonna have like this much left from this hay trailer to there is my guess is what we'll have left roughly but we'll see because after I fill this up I believe there's still gonna be some left in the tender which will be good because then we can finish out and we won't need to do much calculating but yeah there's 15 in here and 12 so we'll see so whenever this gets full we'll see what we have in there and see how much we have left we don't have a whole lot but yeah anyway back to my video deal so we have a video on cultivating and plowing and we're also going to do a little tree removal in here and make like a miniature farm we're going to be farming just small super small okay so we got a hundred percent so how much do we have five tons so we have five tons left in the actual spreader, which will be nice. Because I think we need about five to, probably five to ten, I'd say. But we'll see how it comes out. Um, yeah, we're going to get it through a swarm spread out. That was pretty close. I guess we had like a little strip about from here over, about two passes, and I got about one. So... That should do it. We'll go ahead and throw that 10 ton in and finish that up and then we'll blow it off probably on the wheat or over on the corn. Maybe on the grass if it, if since crop destruction might have some toll on it. I don't think it will, but it might. Anyway, go right here. We'll back up to it. And wait for Wilson to sink in. Put that in. We'll go blow it off. And I'll see you guys when we get that done. Alright, so we got that backed up there. We're going to go ahead and sell it. $260,000. It's a new day, so we can see how much we actually lost. Here we go, two sixty. We bought it for two. No, we also bought this thing, too. Did we buy anything else? Did we bought any... Oh, no. We just bought this. Okay. So I believe that was 15000 So I don't know if that'll get us... Uh-oh. Let's try rehooking. It might not be in the trigger. Sometimes it's finicky like that. Like it has to be on this side of the trigger. Oh, the trigger box is off. That's why. Look, so if you park over here, it's outside the trigger. So that big box there is the actual trigger for that. Uh, cell point. This thing. Oh, hit R. There we go. 15,000. How much did we lose? It hasn't done the 15 yet. 75. So we lost 10,000. Ain't bad. Probably could have done ourselves for, you know, whatever reason. But you guys would get bored if I used the same equipment over and over again. So I decided to do what I did right then. So anyway, I think this is going to be the end of the video. Um, stay tuned for... The next few are going to be awesome. We're going to have the new 2028R plowing up some fields. Maybe even the 8RT. I'm not sure yet. One of the 8R tractors. Or I think it's an 8000 series tractors. 8R series tractors. Something like that. I don't know. I'm not a big John Deere guy, so I don't really know all that stuff. But anyway, we're going to have that. And we're also going to have a 4020 with a field cultivator on the back. Running a little old school killing weeds old school way but anyway 
Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, hit that thumbs up button for me. If you're not subscribed, please do subscribe, and we'll see you all in the next one.